Robert Pattinson's bat suit may be inspired by artwork from the artist Lee Bermejo from work that he's done in Batman comic books like Batman Damned and Batman Noel. On this heroic Hollywood article, they make it seem like the design is going to be based on Batman Noel, but that's not the only comic book Lee Bermejo has drawn Batman for. So I'm going to go over the outfit in both those comics just to give us a little overview. New details on Robert Pattinson's suit for the Batman have been revealed in a bit of a roundabout way. Variety reporter Chris Tapley posted on Twitter that he had heard what Robert Pattinson's suit would look like for the upcoming film, The Batman. He stated in the post that the suit would be based on Lee Bermejo's designs. Unfortunately, the tweet has since been deleted, and after a little bit of digging, fans now have an idea as to what Robert Pattinson's Batman could look like. Now, one of the, um, they reference Batman Noel on here, and if you look at the Batman Noel outfit, it looks very similar to the one that Ben Affleck wore in his um, D DC movies, BVS and Justice League. Um, it looks very, very much like a tactical suit. You can see like, you know, like the, the seams between when things were sewn in, like bits of it sewn together or bolted together, kind of, sort of. Although this one looks a bit more like, you know, armor sort of, kind of than the other one did. You can tell like there is a, there's an image of the suit that was made into a toy and you look, it looks like the creases look much more defined and hard. You can tell like on the ribs, like it's more ribbed than the Affleck Batman suit. So it almost looks like it's, it looks more like, I guess, it looks more armored and almost like leather, like leather than the other suit. Less fabric-y, you know, and more like thicker. You can see right there on the side, there are those two little um, straps that are like bolted on there buttoned on there so it looks less um it looks a lot more um tactical i guess even more so than the ben affleck bat suit however that's from batman noel now there was this there was this um there was this series called batman damned which lee bermejo also drew where the texture of the suit it looked almost like scales you can see in this issue, this panel here where Batman's kicking this guy in a mask, you can see like the scaly texture in a lot of the the texture on here. So it looks almost, this one looks a lot more for protection too. You know, less like a Halloween costume is what I'm trying to say and more like something that's functional that can protect him. I don't know what body armor looks like in real life and maybe that's what they're modeling this out. I don't know much about like, you know, tactical military police stuff but I think these outfits are more in line with that here it looks a lot more scaled there's another picture of him you know perched on a rooftop talking I think to John Constantine but you can see like in the torso and the arms that looks a lot more like scales almost like chain mail right you know Batman well more like chain scales and chain mail but that's what I think of you know this is a Batman who looks like closer to like a knight like tactical soldier, but also a medieval knight, right? Didn't a lot of them wear scales in the field? Um, so that could be it. I mean, this is all speculation, but since the tweet was deleted, that does make you think someone's trying to cover something up. But maybe he was tweeting it because he maybe he deleted it because he wasn't sure if he was correct and he didn't want to be called out for giving us false information. If the bat suit turns out to look different, maybe he's worried about looking like a fool for tweeting something that turns out not to be true. So maybe that's why he deleted the tweet. But anyways, I'm going to put this in the rumor speculation category until we actually see the suit. Um, but I think it makes sense. I mean, more recent interpretations of Batman have wanted to make him more realistic and modern looking. And a more realistic, modern looking Batman would have, be more tactically outfitted, you know, with more bulletproof stuff that, you know, where he wouldn't get stabbed or shot so easily. It makes a lot of sense um, because he doesn't have any power, so he would need that kind of protection. <laughs> um, but we'll find out soon enough. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.